hi guys welcome back to another video here is Ann and today I'll be sharing with you how to make brownies this brownies is my recipe uh, as a home-based uh, baker uh, used to make it, uh, the, uh, this brownie to sell uh, for my customer and they this brownie is just delicious so today I'm gonna share this recipe with you uh, if you someone like to try new recipes or if, if you are a home-based baker as, uh, like me you can just try and uh, I'm sure you're gonna love this recipe so here uh, I have already my ingredients my eggs are uh, home temperature I have here three eggs half tablespoon of vanilla extracts one cup of uh, flour plain flour I have here as well chocolate bottom uh, bottoms I buy this chocolate from Amazon half cup of light brown sugar uh, one cup of granulate sugar I use I like to use granulate sugar in my brownies because the granulate sugar bring the crisp in the top of the brownie and there I have one cup quarter cup of cocoa powder and here as well I have in my butter I'm using here stock uh, to make this brownie and I have already in my bowl because I'm gonna melt this butter and the, with the chocolate bottom buttons as well you know let's start this recipe the first thing I like to do to where I bake my or um, brownies or even cakes is turn on sorry guys someone was knocking my door so as I, I was trying to say I like to turn my oven on uh, for cakes for cookies for brownies always I bake uh, 170 degree as you can see 170 degree and before I start making any recipe I turn my oven on to 170 degree always in England you're gonna find this one very easy so that's why I'm not adding any salt to this recipe so let's start making this delicious so after turn my oven on uh, my I wash my hand properly because sometimes uh, even if you bake to sell you it's better you wash your hand frequently instead use a glove because sometimes you use the glove you forget to wash your hands so uh, I wash my hand already of course and the, I'm gonna add the, the chocolate buttons to my butter and I'm gonna melt this only and to melt you know no to I don't want this to be hot or warm just to melt it because it's, we're gonna start adding uh, eggs and sugar straight away so we don't need to warm top these two ingredients here otherwise we're gonna make a chocolate omelette here and we don't want that so I'm gonna melt this one and I'm gonna come back to show you okay now I'm using just a wood spoon we don't need the, the hand mixer nor even stand mixer to mix this recipe to make this recipe is very easy uh, recipe so I have here my bottle as well and the, um, the chocolate as well I'm using um, milk chocolate but if you don't like it or if your customer don't like it too sweet you just can try making with the dark chocolate too you know but we we add as well cocoa powder to this recipe so uh, gonna you know break the, all this uh, some sweets of this milk chocolate here so if you want to top this uh, two ingredients a lot you need to wait until cool down completely before you add your eggs but here it's just uh, already uh, normal temperature so I'm gonna start adding uh, other recipes you know I'm gonna start with the sugars sugar they come with these small things that's why it's not good you put straight away your your recipes that's not good you know so 
now we're gonna start to just add the ingredients and just mix it you know if you want to use a hand mixer up to you but i don't think it i think it is just unnecessary to here to use hand mixer now we're gonna start adding egg one at a time See it. Finish with the egg, eggs and we add vanilla extract. We add cocoa powder now. I like to do the same with the cocoa powder because sometimes cocoa powder is well, very uh, complicated to mix, you know, inside of the egg. Uh, and the butter as well so I like to do that because I'm most of the time still you know it's look like brown sugar too that's it I bought this cocoa powder from from you know from Aldi I don't really like it I think it's good when you make it the, the cake, chocolate cake, you need a dark uh, cocoa powder, but for brown, I, I don't like it, I prefer just uh, more light cocoa powder, you know, but I bought this one, I didn't know the, this cocoa powder is uh, dark, but okay, I'm gonna add the flour now, mix on until incorporate. I uh, don't need over mix it and we're gonna transfer to to, to the tin. So as you can see our recipe is, is done, you know. Now we're gonna transfer it to the tin, but first thing I like to use a spatula just to make sure the bottom and the everything of my bowl, the ingredients are all very well uh, mixed together. And we only need to do that. Tins. Uh, this is little uh, foil. Um, I buy them from Amazon. You know, they come with this uh, lid. It's just uh, clear way, and I like to put the tray as well in the bottom. You know, just no easy to transfer from the uh, to the oven and to remove as well. Okay, so now 
uh, because most of the time I use the same recipe base to add uh, different toppers, you know. So what I do here, if I want to make uh, double chocolate uh, brownie, I use about one tablespoon of um, uh, white cho uh, chocolate bottom and milk chocolate bottom as well, one tablespoon. So I add here to one brownie, you know, and I use something as a knife or something you have, and I mix it just like that. And for this one, we're gonna have double chocolate brownie. For this one here, I have here uh, Oreo. I'm gonna just bake some Oreo and add, you know, yeah. You can add more, less, or more up to you. Okay, let's see. Here we have uh, Oreo chocolate, Oreo brownie, and after that, if you want to have as well, you know, salt, uh, no salt, just caramel uh, brownie, I use this, you know as well if they are caramel no salt caramel just caramel i use some of this you know okay what i do here is just open this little bit and i add as well in the top of uh, my brownies like this you know? That's it. We have it, the caramel brown here, and other flavors as well. We we can add um, biscuit to this one. So we're gonna have four four flavors of brownie using same base of recipe. You know, biscuit spread. You know, I use just a teaspoon. And I put just very little The biscuit, uh, biscuits. Just when this one is done, I wait until cool down, and I add so I, some uh, biscuit spread in the top. You know, just dizzy. And after I add biscuit as well. So now we're gonna bake this one. I normally bake this one for about uh, 25 minutes. Okay, I already baked these brownies. So I bake them today for about 30 minutes. And now here I have a, just a little bit of a, a white chocolate, you know, any white chocolate you have. I'm going to just add here for this double chocolate brownie. I'm going to add some, you know, on the top, just like that. And then I'm gonna add this milk uh, bars, you know, it's the next next layer. Okay. 
can add more if you like to and I'm gonna add as well this one this one is a happy hippo as a kinder as well you know because they have a uh, cocoa inside and the white chocolate as well so i like them i like to add them to my double chocolate uh, brownie i like to add as well to oreo you know just to make it look more yummy more delicious if you don't like you don't need to just like that and for this one this one is a biscuit we're gonna just uh, melt some uh, biscuit sprays in a microwave as well and then we're gonna do add here and add a biscuit uh, biscuit biscuit for the, to this one Caramel, I have homemade caramel. Yeah, I'm gonna add here. Uh -huh. yeah. What we do here is just split some, uh, same like we did with the other ones, well. Just like that, nothing too complicated, you know. And then I'm gonna add as well some sprinkles. This sprinkles here they have uh, caramel, white chocolate, brown chocolate, you know, they are very delicious. I always buy them in Morrison's, you know. And I'm gonna add as well to this caramel uh, brown here. Yes, they all done and red, right to go. I like to help uh, let them cool down very good. I used to make them in, a, in one day and sell in the next day, or if my order is just in the afternoon or evening, I make them in the morning, in the same day, you know. But sometimes I uh, like to let them uh, uh, live in the fresh for one or two hours, you know before sent to the customer uh so i think this one is very uh easy you don't need to have thousands of recipes you know for each uh flavor you just like need to adapt them to a different flavor you have i used to make a brownie as well uh for this same recipe i like to use to make it, uh maltesers as well and the uh, Ferrero Rocher, uh, Kinder Bueno, you know, even Kit Kat as well, you know, you just need to adapt your recipe to a different flavor, you know. Uh, so if you didn't subscribe to my channel, you're still here watching, please don't forget to subscribe. I'm planning to bring more recipe for, for business, you know. Uh, because I think it's the best thing is we help each other sharing good things you know and I really hope you enjoyed to watch this video if you did don't forget to give us a like and see you in my next video love you all and bye